Hi. Wah, 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 wah. Potentially. Um, with my Enphase um, solar system. I had this installed. Uh, it's almost four years ago now in April, I think, four years. Um, and I've had no issues at all with my Enphase microinverter uh, system. But I just got an, an email alert saying that one of my microinverters, or saying that my microinverters are not responding. I thought, oh, the system's down, or I don't know, something's, something's happened to it. It turns out uh, that no. Um, if you look over here, you can see that 13 are operating. Normally, I've got 14 uh, micro inverters and a one is not reporting so the gateway is working that's like the internet hub box thing it's working fine green tick uh the two iq relays that i've got because these are split into two different uh strings there and they have their own mains relay that's for local compliance reasons and they're both operating normally so yeah the one panel is not responding here and if we go in there so yep everything's everything's working hunky-dory and if we go in here, oh, in fact, I'll show you. I go back here. Um, it's this is really cool. It actually gives you um, the signal strength. There you go. Uh, these are not wireless. These are uh, comms over mains. Um, so because these are two forty volt microinverters out, and the comms just goes over that. So yeah, signal strength uh, looks good there. So it actually reports. I don't know. Is, does this one go down at the end here? What's what's going on? Yep. No. No. So further away it is. No, same signal strength, but uh, you know, it's not a big cable run. My box is down the bottom here next to the house. Um, anyway, so let's go in and uh, have a look at our not reporting uh, micro inverter produced today. No, that's the entire system. So detailed uh, device failed to report and it failed, failed to report on February 28th. Now keep that in mind. So February 28th. Now um, today is uh, the 7th of March, right? So this is more than a week ago that this happened. Um, so the following uh, the following provides a summary of the detected issue. Please follow recommendations. Device failed to report on February 28th. Why am I only getting the email now? It was an old email and I didn't find it. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> occasional instances of this error may be ignored. Device communications will usually recover on the next uh, reporting cycle. Presumably that would be the next day or whenever, however it reports or whatever. But yeah, this was over a week ago, so I think we have waited. Um, then, yeah, if communications do not recover, which it looks like they haven't, verify your system has service. Yes, it has, because all the others are they're all connected. They're, they're on the same string. So everything's hunky-dory. Um, so yeah, I haven't plugged anything new into it. Um, and they're on their own dedicated mains anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got the uh, two dedicated lines coming in. They go straight to the uh, the Q uh, relays, the IQ relays. And then they just go straight into the box. So really, there's nothing else, no, no other loads on that line. Um, so to peak, it's, it's like a star system a star system they've got their own fuses everything um so yeah yeah so there you go um to determine the quality of the gateway's location yeah no it's not a location issue because it's been working fine i think it might have come a gutter now check it out so i've got the uh power here and so this is february 26 so we, it looks like we had like a really bad weather day there um february 25th um, yeah, like a perfect day here on February 23, for example, you know, peaks at midday, classic, and then oof, it dropped down to zero there. So that must have been a really bad cloud come over or something like that. So yeah, it goes um, a little bit of power here. So that is that is really low, but I can't remember the, we have not had terrific weather lately. But anyway, on February 26, it started ramping up like normal, looks like a normal ramp there and then just wah and then what the heck for the next three days it's just outputting a constant 30 23 watts oh no 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 it's just jumped okay so they, there's only two data points and it's just uh joining the dots there so yeah there's no data here so it started responding again on the 28th and then nope it's it's come a gutter again so we can change that custom range again from the 28th to say March 2 say and boom 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 no no it's oh yeah 
No, it didn't like that to March 2nd. Yeah, no, there's just nothing. There's no other data. It's just stop reporting. So that micro inverter, serial number, blah, blah, has uh, completely come a gutsa. And you can actually, I think there's a way to go and individually look at uh, a micro inverter. What's events over here? Uh, device failed to report. Yeah, we see that micro inverter, blah. Show details, micro inverter. And I'm not sure if one of this is one of the new ones because I had, because I reused, um, tw was it 12 I, I had before and I added another couple of uh, micro inverters onto the system. So uh, I'm not sure if it's a new one. You could probably check the serial numbers. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. We can look at all the uh, micro inverters. So uh, yeah, that's my Envoy S uh, gateway. My two IQ relays, they're all reporting, everything's hunky-dory. And these ones here, so that one is the one not reporting. So it's an IQ7 plus, they're, they're all IQ7 pluses. Uh, I've gotten 1.63 megawatt hours out of it, beauty, um, over the last four years, terrific. But uh, the warranty, <laughs> and there you go, the warranty expires the 1st of April, 2031. So it's still under warranty, but because they've got a 10 year warranty, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, uh, 42195, 42195. It looks like it's part of, that's part of the original install. Yeah, because this one down here is 43, 43. And then the next one over here would be 40. How many did I add? Two, four, five, Ex new ones? I can't remember how many. I just had my system upgraded, of course, because uh, we had a roof rearrangement. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, it looks like it is part of the original ones that I had. So, there you go. I don't know why it's failed. Um, I'll contact Enphase and see if they've got any clue, because they can get secret squirrel access into the back end on the Enphase. Because apparently, uh, I haven't double-checked this myself, but others are saying this, is that if you don't keep your... Enphase system connected to the internet, um, like actually permanently connected, and so it can get automatic firmware updates and everything else, um, then you void your warranty, apparently. Don't know if that's legal or not, um, especially in Australia. We have very strict uh, consumer laws here, but um, anyway, it's still under warranty. So yeah, but that's going to be very disappointing if it has failed, and this comes on just on the back of my um, Hoy Miles micro inverter uh, failing. By the way, um, there is an update on that. Hoy Miles are very confident that it hasn't actually physically failed because um, they say that's very rare because it actually has uh, power limiting. It's got a derating thing. As soon as it hits 75 degrees internally, the output power derates. And as soon as it hits 80 degrees internally, it's got an internal temperature sensor, it'll switch off completely. So they're, they're very confident it hasn't physically failed. They think it's some sort of uh, firmware or other issues. So they're actually sending me a uh, like like a gateway -y kind of a wireless gateway -y kind of thing because it does have like a wireless um, antenna on it so apparently with that I'll be able to log in they've given me a like an installer account or whatever so I should be able to log into that but that's that's on the way it's it's coming so um yeah so maybe I, I can get an update um but my uh, new one the four channel I installed it's working just fine so Anyway, that's my first Enphase Micro Inverter fail. You don't hear too many of them, which is why they offer a 10 year warranty, because these things are usually very um, good, but it means I've got to go up on the roof and it's the hard part of the roof. I've got to try and take the panel off and uh, um, potentially fix this sucker, which really sucks. So yeah. anyway, um, thoughts and comments down below. I'll keep you updated. Catch you next time.